I was wrong. You have to stop cleaning golf carts for money. A couple weeks ago, I ended up doing a bunch of golf cart cleanings for a customer that I had, and let me tell you something, it's way easier than trash cans. But the problem here is your clientele, or lack thereof. Not only are you limited to people who own golf carts, the fact that these are more wealthy customers makes it difficult to find them. And unlike trash can cleaning, which gets excessively dirty, golf carts do not. Golf carts simply going around neighborhoods or even golf courses aren't getting dirty enough, and the customers just aren't aggressive enough to want to get it cleaned. Also, the process is almost too simple, and the customer kind of knows that. Yes, I can wash the top of the golf cart underneath the golf cart, but you're very limited in the places that you can spray simply because you can't get the batteries wet. Currently, I've been pushing it to a lot of the customers that I have that live in the nicer areas that have golf carts driving around every day. And I wash trash cans there, so I might as well take two birds with one stone. Let me tell you though, the result isn't good. Turns out they're trying to price for these golf cart cleanings is even less lucrative than trash can cleaning. Cleaning a golf cart for like $10 might actually work, but the recurring value is zero. Quote IQ is incredible, especially if you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments. Give Quote IQ a try for free. Just click the link in the comment section and the description of this video. Quote IQ is also the fastest way to send estimates, invoices, and secure payment from your customers, and even providing you with real-time business analytics such as close ratio, sales, and expense tracking. These customers just aren't having them get dirty enough like I said before, and they also just don't want to get them cleaned every single month like you could a car or a trash can. This means that whenever you're trying to push customers lifetime along or you're trying to extend it and ask them for a longer term package, it's not going to happen. Golf cart cleanings in comparison to all the other services I've done, you aren't able to stack them monthly like a trash can cleaning. People's trash can gets dirty every single month. That way I can sell them a longer term package, say hey listen I can give you a discount if I can come clean your trash can for this month and then this month and then this month so on. I've been cleaning people's cars, cans, and I've even done lawn care for a good amount of time and in comparison I'd rather you guys honestly move over to a different service that's going to help you cash flow every single month. That way you're not having to use ad spend on trying to guarantee yourself new customers every month to get this service too. That's the only way really to make a service business lucrative is to get monthly basis clients and have them send out referrals for you. And with these other services, I always say it, you're recreating the new baseline so that they need something as clean as you've already showed them it can be. That way, boom, you start getting customers every single month because they're getting used to this new cleaning that you're doing. But golf carts just aren't it. People aren't buying these multiple times. And you're not getting the benefit of being able to reach a customer's lifetime or even extend it. But in this case, these golf carts aren't needing to be serviced multiple times and the referral system is no longer working because customers don't want you to reach out when they don't need you. Also, you're needing to increase the amount of money that you're spending to push out your marketing to land different and new customers that you're going to be able to offer this service to simply because they've never had it and now it's that shock factor. But after they get one, they're probably not going to get one for another couple months, even a year. I'm not here to tell you that it's actually the worst service that you could ever offer, it's just not the fastest or the easiest. A lot of my subscribers have been struggling to get more customers or even their first customer, but I developed my own lead strategy that has gotten me my first $10,000 in jobs. And good news, my course is completely finished. If you guys want to learn my strategy of how I've gotten $10,000 in free leads that I can continue to service day after day after day, there is now a number that you can contact. Listen, the course is not going to be for free. I give away a lot of good information on this channel. Channel, but if you want to take your business to the next level or you're thinking about starting a business but you don't know how to get customers in this course I'm gonna teach you how not to get scammed how to get thousands of dollars in free customers that you can service on and on and on also how to talk to customers and make sure that you sell your service quickly and efficiently with my own personal messages that I've had with customers you guys can contact this number up here and if you send me the word strategy and we're gonna get you set up immediately if you want to start a business and make it work it has to be lucrative and it has to be fast Fast isn't always bad like people want you to think, that's why I always push trash can cleaning so hard, because it gives you the opportunity to make as much money in as little amount of time as possible, and you're not going to burn out because the jobs are too long. But that all being said, take this with a grain of salt. Maybe you live in an area that has a plentiful amount of golf carts. This would be your ideal customer base. Maybe you're in Florida or just somewhere that doesn't have this being offered, that way you can shock everybody with this new service and they're all going to try it out. But my advice is if you must offer it, then just use it as an extension of mobile car detailing, that way you can stick with your cars, get longer term customers, and on the side you're hitting their golf carts as well. This is what I've done and I've opened up many opportunities for myself to service many many different vehicles, whether it's four wheelers, golf carts, or even motorcycles. That's something that I try to get at as often as possible is that if you get into the wrong service or you try to make one thing your big product or the big thing that you offer to customers, but it's not lucrative enough, it's not easy enough to get customers, and it's not stackable on a monthly basis. 
you're not going to make enough money. You're not going to make a lot of money unless this is just a simple side hustle for you and you don't expect too much money and you don't want to put too much time into it. You're not seeing the big enough picture. I know guys that are starting out since I made that video, only golf cart cleaning businesses, which that's smart. Like I said, if you live in a place like Florida where there's golf carts all over the place, or if you live in a neighborhood where there's a golf course and there's golf carts everywhere, then maybe you have a better chance at this. Maybe your marketing is going to the right people and the correct audience automatically. This does require a client base that is way more wealthy and you're gonna need some people that are willing to drop some money for you to clean a golf cart but if they see how that process looks or they see how simple it is you're not going to be in the best shape unless you're going a full mobile detailing route on it right you can wipe down the surfaces you can use the black surface polish uh mcguire's rub it on there you can get everything nice and beautiful um you can even get in there with brushes get the batteries done get the steering wheel done so there's kind of ways that you can mark yourself up client wise so imagine like you can't get that many customers but every single customer you're doing, you're offering them a full package, giving them all the opportunities they could have for this golf cart, getting it clean, rim cleaning, wheel well cleaning, rim shine, tire shine. You could even put a leather conditioner on the seats. You could make sure that you scrub down the top, get all the crevices, get underneath, wipe down the screen. There's a lot of different opportunities. The way that I was approaching it was once again, like my mobile detailing business is, I only do basic services. This way I can get in and out of jobs really fast. The work isn't difficult, it's very simple, it requires the least amount of equipment. The struggle is here, like if you start offering services that are much harder and require a lot more effort and a lot more work, then your main struggle is going to be that you're going to these jobs, sitting there for four hours, five hours, but you're good on the fact that it is a golf cart. So this is going to not only save you a lot of time, because you can probably bust one of these out in an hour, maybe an hour and a half. You don't want to spend too long. No one's going to pay you $100 to clean their golf cart. Maybe once you offer all these external services, it can bump up your ticket. But I'm just saying, try to go a smarter route and make this a side part, a side product or another option for you or another option for your customers that maybe you're already doing their cars. That's how I went about this. I already had a customer who had multiple golf carts and I'd already cleaned their cars multiple times. So that way I kind of already had an in and they'd seen what you could do to a car through just a little bit of mobile detailing, a little bit of the strategy, a little bit of the process. And they were like, you know what? The golf cart has never been cleaned before. Maybe we could do this. But you're going to come across a lot of customers that only want a one-time cleaning. And you need to be prepared to have to get new customers weekly or as often as you want to land jobs. You need to be marketing to the same audience as often as possible and not really relying on the lifetime of the customer to be much longer than I, who knows? It could even be up to a month, could be two months, could be one or two cleanings. It depends on how you want to base it because your timeline with each customer isn't going to be very long unless they're doing different things. I'm not sure of a lot of golf cart activities that get the golf carts dirty enough to need multiple cleanings. But if you're doing a deep and in-depth enough cleaning, then there's a lot of things that you could do even if it didn't get dirty, even if it doesn't look dirty on the outside, they could know that you're doing internal cleanings, getting around, getting around the batteries and just making a big difference. So it's kind of up to you on how much equipment you really want to put into this. All of the stuff really will roll over from mobile detailing into the golf cart cleanings. But I'm just saying, I would not recommend that you guys start this service. I was wrong. I did start it. There's not that much money in it, but you know, this also gives you another opportunity. Take this opportunity, move yourself into a more broad side hustle and just offer them the golf cart cleanings if you know they have a golf cart. If you're going to their house and say, you know what? I already do this for you. If you want me to throw this in, make it a package deal, get a discount going. You might have to schmooze the customer a little bit and move them in that direction, but just let them know that it's not gonna be that simple of a process. You don't wanna break it down and make it seem like it's super easy, super fast, but it really is. You're working with a very small vehicle, the same way with trash cans, it's very small, right? If I was cleaning out dumpster pads, which people do do that, it's a great side hustle. If I was cleaning out dumpster pads, this would take me so much longer. So this is almost the equivalent of a dumpster pad to a trash can cleaning versus mobile car detailing to a golf cart. It's significantly smaller, it's faster, better for not burning out. So there is a lot of benefits, but if you're offering it all by itself and this is your main product, you're going to struggle.